Hello, my name is Koji with Payak Products, and today I want to walk you through how you can add Goodreads reviews of your book onto your website if you are running WordPress. Uh, this is actually a really simple thing to do, and it's a good way to get reviews that are impartial or somewhat partial onto your website without having to go out and ask people to review your book multiple times. Since they've already reviewed it on Goodreads, it will just automatically update to your website. So there are multiple ways to do this, and the first way that you can do this is using the Goodreads widget. So you should go to uh, Goodreads API Reviews Demo Widget iframe, and I'll link down below to that website, and you're going to get this widget creator. And this is only for books that have an ISBN. If you have a Goodreads ID for the book, but no ISBN, you're going to need to use another method, which I will cover in another video. But if you do have an ISBN, this method works and it's perfectly acceptable. So we're going to be doing this on my website, but since I do not have a published book with an ISBN yet, we're going to pretend I want to talk about Lilith's Brood from Octo Octavia Butler, which I love this book, these books. I'm currently reading them right now and they're amazing. So what you wanna do is get your ISBN number. Now you might have this scrolled away somewhere. If not, just go on to Goodreads and copy the ISBN number from right there. And then go back to the Goodreads widget, delete the ISBN number that's currently visible, which I believe is um, Huck Finn, and paste in your new ISBN number. Okay, and then if you hit submit, you'll see that the reviews down here are all now reviews for um, Lilith's Brood, but nothing else about this widget. This is what is eventually going to go onto your website, this block right here. And nothing else about it has been changed. Even the title still says that they are reviews for Huckfin. But go up here and you can change all of these things. So you can change the number of reviews. Let's say we want to be more compact. Let's put it to three reviews. Um, this one's very interesting because you can change the minimum star rating that you show. Now, since this is your website, you wanna show positive reviews about your book. So I would set that to at least three or four stars because you don't want the one and two star reviews visible on your website people can click through to the Goodreads website and they can see both the positive and negative reviews, but this allows you to keep just the positive reviews on your site. Um, you can then change the header text and we'll say this is reviews for Lilis Brood. Um, Next, you can change the colors of the links, the header link, the links within. So this is the header link. These are the links within the widget itself. Um, you can change the background color, which is this color right here. And you can change the rating stars color, which right now they're black. Um, so how I choose colors is I go to my website and I want to find these colors that are actually on my website. So I use a color picker or I actually have them currently available in my theme because I've customized them before. So I go to appearance, customize, colors. So this is my current background color. And if I want the review widget to match the background color, I'm going to put it both here and here. Um, let's say, let's 
let's see what other uh, I think those are the only main colors that I've changed on here um, so basically you can come in and you can get the colors of different aspects of your website and you can make sure that these colors match on your website for now I'm just going to change those two you can also uh, if you don't know where to find your colors you can use a color picker which I have one installed on my chrome so I can come in here open my color picker scroll over to here and find out that that is this color copy it and paste it right let me close out of my color picker um, and paste it here so say I want my links to be those colors and sure we'll make the rating stars those colors too um, then I submit again and it will update it and you'll see that it has changed the title it's changed the link colors it's changed the star colors it's changed the background colors so it's a little more it's closer to what my website actually looks like now it's a pretty big box at the moment and in my website my widgets um, let me get out of this go back to my website my widgets are generally on the bottom and they're very narrow boxes so I would want to set the width to something around 300 and the height maybe 500 and see how that looks yeah it's a much more narrow and tall box you can play with that to get it how you want if you know CSS you can create a custom style style sheet specifically for this widget and upload it here I'm not going to go over how to do that after you have gotten this to look how you want you want to make sure that you copy and paste everything in here so put your cursor in um, control a to select all control C to copy and if you're going to use this widget in multiple places in your website you might want to save it in a text file so that you can easily get it anytime that you need it okay next we're going to figure out how to put it onto my website so I'm going to go into my WordPress dashboard and the easiest way to add a widget is through your actual widgets so most themes have widgets either on the bottom of the website or on the sidebar on a left or right sidebar if you have those and to find your widgets you go to appearance and down to widgets now you'll see these are the widgets that I have available with my theme and over here are the widgets I currently have running so you want to scroll until you find custom HTML and then once you click on custom HTML it will open the possible locations that you can add that widget I'll say I want to add it to my first my first footer and I click add widget now you see over here in my first footer I now have a custom HTML and it's currently empty so I'm going to just copy and paste from in the Goodreads widget everything that was there and I'm not going to add a title to this widget because as you remember over here it has a title for itself so I'm not going to add a second title uh-huh there should not have been I should not have included the pound signs in those so yeah paste your hex keys without the pound signs in them and I'm going to copy and paste it back in and click on save now this widget should be visible on my website 
So I scroll all the way to the bottom of my website and you'll see right here is that widget. It's currently under another widget that I have visible. Now, if I want to customize which pages it's visible on, I can click on visibility. And I can either show if or hide if. Well, let's say I don't want it on my mm, contact page. So hide if page is contact. Um, so now let me refresh this and go up to my contact and it should not be on my contact page. Yeah, it's not on my contact page, but you'll see it's on every other page that is not my contacts page. And you can make multiple hide ifs and um, show ifs just by clicking here. And you can either match everything or just match um, one of each thing. So that's the easiest way to add it. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just pop it off like that. And it should now be gone. There you go. Um, but there's another way that you can add widgets and you can add them into the content of any page. So now go to your posts and let's say I want to add a new blog post that ha happens to have reviews for a certain book that I'm talking about. So I'm I want to discuss Lilith's Brood and I want to discuss the way that people review it. So I want to add the reviews into my blog post. If you're running Gutenberg, which I suggest you start my migrating to Gutenberg at this point, you can click on add block and you want to find the HTML block. For me, you'll see that custom HTML is one of my most used blocks. For most people, it will be under formatting and then custom HTML. You can then paste the HTML, preview what it will look like, and there you go. And it's in your page. You can add content before it. You can add content after it. So this is my content before. It acts like a picture or a video or anything else that you would embed in your website. Um, so let's say you are not running Gutenberg yet. Then you would be using the classic editor. In that case, the process is a tiny bit different. This is what your classic editor looks like. You are reviewing, you're reviewing and you want to add in reviews from Goodreads, you would switch over to the text editor right there. And now you would copy and paste in your text and then you can go back to the visual editor and you will see it in line with your actual content and you can continue adding content after it. Um, so that's it. It's actually pretty easy, pretty basic. I'll add the links to the widget creator down below the video as well as a link to a blog post in case you want to follow along with text instructions. And I hope that you have found this helpful. Thank you.